All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic of stop comparing Israelites to Muslims, okay? Because we are not Muslims. Two totally different beliefs. Okay, now um, the Muslims go by the Quran, okay, the Israelites go by the Bible, okay, you have a lot of people, okay, and when I say the Bible, I'm talking about the whole Bible, the, the Old Testament, New Testament, and the, the uh, Apocrypha, which is supposed to be in the Old Testament, okay, now, uh, when I, when I say that, uh, we're not uh, Muslims. There's a lot of differences between the two beliefs. Okay, first off, being a Muslim is a religion. Okay, and um, being an Israelite is not a religion. Okay, um, the Bible does not teach religion at all. Now, um, I have the etymology of the word uh, Islam. Okay, Richard says, religious system revealed by Muhammad, okay, literally submission. Um, going down to this part, it says, earlier English names for the faith include Muhammadry, uh, Muhammadism, Islamism, and Ismailism. Okay, that's something that we're going to get into. Ismailism. Okay, see Ismailite. Okay, the Ismailites were not numerous in Islam, but among them were the powerful Fatimid dynasty in Egypt and the assassins, both of which loomed large in European Im imagination. This use also is in part from Ismailite, a name formerly given especially by Jews to Arabs as descendants of Ishmael. Okay. Now, the word Ishmael, okay, or the name Ishmael, which we're going to get into that also, it says masculine, proper name, biblical son of Abraham and Hagar, driven into the wilderness with his mother from uh, Hebrew, it says Yismael, Mael, okay, which that's not how, that's not the Hebrew, okay, uh, it says literally God hears, that's not, um, what it means, okay, from Yisma, uh, imperfective of Yasma, I mean, of Sama, he heard the Arabs claim descent from him, so the people of Arabia claim that they descend from Ishmael, which that's the truth, okay? But the word Arab means mixture, okay? It says, figurative sense of an outcast whose hand is against every man and every man's hand is against him, okay? Now, I want to go into this topic, you know, because like I said, you have a lot of people, they always see a beard, okay? And they always think, oh, you're, you're, uh, you're Muslim. And that's not the truth, man, okay? This is uh, Galatians 4 and 22. For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid and the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh. But he of the free woman was by promise. Okay. So that's important. Abraham had two sons, one by a bondmaid and the other by a free woman. The bondmaid name was Hagar and the free woman was Sarah. Okay. Hagar had uh, Ishmael. Okay. And he was born after the flesh. Okay. After the flesh, meaning that was Abraham's son. So being as though that he was Abraham's son. Of course, he's going to have some of the customs and the ways of living and doing things 
the traditions of Abraham. Okay? But when it comes down to the spirit, the, the, the um, spiritual way of doing things, and the promises that was given unto the, the free free woman, that came from Isaac, okay, or through Isaac. Okay, so you had Ishmael from the flesh, okay, you had Isaac. I, they're both brothers, close in bloodline, One of, they both have the same father, okay, but there's a difference. This is Genesis 16 and 11. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard your affliction. Okay? Now, the word or name Ishmael, okay, which this thing said, Yismael, okay, that's not the truth, man. The, the name Ishmael is Yah. Sha Ma Al Yasama Al, which is Yasama Allah, okay, which Yah He uh, Sama heard, and El is Allah power, okay, Yasama Allah He heard power, okay, that's what that's what Ishmael stands for. Okay, Yasama Allah, he heard Allah, okay, and that's why you have a lot of uh, Ishmael or Muslims that refer to the Lord name is Allah, okay, because that's what Ishmael heard, okay, and through the flesh, Ishmael heard that from his father, Abraham, Allah, okay, so if a father, if, if if he heard that from his father, what do you think that he's going to tell his children? Hey, the Lord's name is Allah. That's all he heard from his father. Okay? But the Lord revealed his name onto Jacob and his, and his, his seed. Okay? It says, God will hear. Okay? Um, there's a... There is a, a name in the dictionary where it says the progenitor of the uh, Arabs, okay? I'm not sure which one it is, but, uh, you know, it's in this blue letter, okay? But continuing on, okay? It says, um, and he will be a wild man, and a lot of people look at us and they think that we're just straight up wild men. But this, there's a difference between the Arabs and the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that know that they're Israelites. His hand will be against every man and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Okay? And that goes into uh, Saudi Arabia. Okay, which is the country. It says, uh, he should dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Okay, you have a lot of uh, uh, people, okay, from Abraham that are around Saudi Arabia. Which Arabia just means mixture, okay? Which that mixture is the Ishmaelites, okay? But all around, you have a lot of uh, Abraham's other children, um, in that area or that region. Okay. Continuing on. Romans 9 and 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are of the, they they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. Okay, so the children of the flesh, the Ishmaelites, okay, or, or the so-called Muslims. They're not the children of God, okay? But the children of the promise are counted for the seed, okay? And the who is the children of the promise? That's the children of, of Isaac and Jacob, okay? When it comes down to it, okay, Abraham had, had Ishmael, 
Okay, the 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 people of Mus of the Muslims, they believe in Abraham, but they don't go as far as Isaac and Jacob. Okay, they don't go into Isaac and Jacob. As Israelites, we go into Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, that's who who we uh, worship. Okay. And I believe that there are scriptures that, that go on to that. Um, this is Acts 7 to 32 saying, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Okay, that's why the Lord said this. He didn't say the God of Abraham and the God of Ishmael. Okay, he said the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Okay, so that's one of the major differences because the, the promises that was given unto the children of Jacob came from through Isaac. Okay, now continuing on, um, Genesis 21 and 10, wherefore she said unto Abraham, cast out this bondwoman and her son, that was Hagar and, um, and Ishmael, for the son of this, of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son even with Isaac so Sarah told her him to get rid of Isaac okay I mean or not Isaac but uh Ishmael okay because Ishmael was not going to be an heir with Isaac okay and the, and the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son and and how about or or God said to to which God is is uh Yahweh okay and God said unto Abraham, let it not be grievous in your sight because of the lad and because of your bondwoman and all that Sarah hath said unto you, hearken unto her voice for in Isaac shall your seed be called. Okay. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation because he is your seed. Continuing on. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 15. But Jeshurun, which is another name for Israel, waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxen fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. Now, I wanted to go into this because at the end of the day, these Muslims or is, uh, people who uh, are into Islam, Okay, they are into the Kaaba stone, or the, you know, which is the the Kaaba, okay, which is a stone ultimately, okay, and a lot of these people like to go to this uh, mosque, okay, and walk around it and worship it and pray to it and everything like that. When um, that's you know, that's a contrary to the scriptures, okay. That's idol worshiping, okay. We're not into idol worshiping, okay. At the end of the day, this little thing that 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 they're worshiping, that can get blown away to smithereens. You know that shit. That shit ain't nothing, man. You know, and it's going to get blown away from the Lord, man. The, the the men of the Lord are going to destroy that. You know, if if Yahweh, you know Himself, you know doesn't destroy it, okay. Um. It says, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, which that is a strange god, okay? Um, it says, with abominations provoked they to him, provoked they him to anger, okay? And here go the thing, our people was uh, captives under the, the Muslims, the, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know? They was captives under, under every nation, you know, uh, pretty much under the sun. And under these nations, these uh, these people will worship different gods, strange gods, okay, rather than the Most High Himself, okay. All deviations, okay. Which I'm gonna get that word.
The action of departing from an established course or septic standard. Okay? Our people have uh, went away from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah. Okay? The, he, with, he established himself in this world. Okay? He set the standard. Okay? Uh, of what our people should, should, should um, join together under. Okay? But our people departed from the Lord. And they went to go worship other gods. Okay. Um, and they, they transgressed. Okay. They departed. And um, it says they sacrificed unto devils, not to God. And that's what these, you know, people who are into Muslims or is Islam, Islam, you know, they're not worshiping the true uh, God that created everything. Okay. The true power. That created everything. It says to gods whom they knew not. To new gods that came up newly. Okay. And what, when you look at this. Okay. The the etymology of Islam, Islam. It says religious system revealed by Muhammad. Okay. Muhammad is, is a man. Okay. What was going on before Muhammad was here? What was going on before with these Christians say, Jesus, what was going on before he was here? You know, because a lot of these Christians, you know, that, that a lot of people, they, they look at us and they also say, are you Christians? And it's like, yeah, the Christians have certain, certain beliefs, okay? But there's a lot of differences, okay, in the midst of all those things. It's, it's a lot of uh, perversion, okay? Lies mingled in with the truth. Okay, and that's why we're here to make things clear, to, to, to get the, 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 the full truth out. Okay, so it says to new to gods who, whom they knew not, to new gods that 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 came newly up, and and um, Allah or the Kaaba stone and this religion of Islam. Okay, this is a new god, this is a new religion. Okay, this, this hasn't always been. Okay, it says, whom your fathers knew, feared not. Our fathers didn't fear, uh, you know, the Kaaba stone. Okay. I was trying to check and see if it had a date on this because you got to know that this thing, this, this wasn't always here from the very beginning, you know. Pretty sure it has, it has a date. Okay, and it has an expiration date. Okay. But um continuing on. It says, Of the rock that begat you, thou art unmindful and has forgotten God that formed you. Okay, so they'll take this rock, okay, this term rock, and they'll use it as a physical thing, okay, rather than a spiritual thing. Okay. It says, um, continuing on, just, uh, go ahead some points in this, um, Deuteronomy 32 and 31, for their rock is not as our rock, even as our enemies themselves being judges. Okay. So, so the rock of, uh, the Muslims is not like our rock. It's two totally different, um, things. Or concepts, okay? See, a Muslim, okay, even though they believe in Abraham, they don't eat pork. We don't eat pork, but they'll, we, they'll, they will eat shrimp and, and all type of selfish, okay? We don't do that, okay? They don't go into prophecies. We go into prophecies, okay? Um, Deuteronomy 32 and 36, For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself, for his servants, when he see that their power is gone, and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, where are your gods? Their rock in whom they trusted. Okay, so a lot of these Muslims believe that in Allah, a lot of a lot of Israelites like to get, get down into this uh, religion and belief. You know, praying to, to this uh, stone, towards this stone. Okay, faithfully, religiously. 
אוקיי? But the Lord said, where, where is that rock going to be at when it's time for you to get uh, saved, man? Okay, when the Lord comes and, and uh, destroys this place, where that rock going to be at, man? It says, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. They'll pull it out to, to, to Allah, you know, go on these multiple fasts and everything for, for, for them, you know. It says, let them rise up and help you and be your protection. Okay, it says, um, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive, and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay, that's the most high Yahweh, okay, talking. Okay, this is uh, First Samuel 2 and 2. There is none holy as the Lord. Or set apart. The Lord is set apart. All these other religions and, and beliefs, they're a part of this world, man. It's a part of the flesh, okay? For there is none beside you, neither is there any rock like our our power. Yahweh. Okay, Basim Yahweh. Okay. I wanted to get into this uh term rock, okay? This is uh second Samuel twenty two and two. And he said the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Like I said, a person who would read this carnally, okay, with the fleshly eye, they'll just look at this and see, oh, the Lord is my rock, so he got to be a rock. Or the, the fortress, so he got to, you know, he got to uh, be inside this fortress right here, okay? Uh, and my deliverer. When it's time for me to to, to, get, to get saved, uh, you know, that's what that Ali, Ali Akbar and all that shit stands for, you know? No. And this, this truth is a spiritual thing, okay? The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, okay? It says fortress, right? Which I'm going to get into the word rock. Okay, fortress. Matazawat. Okay, it says net, pray, net, pray, fastness, stronghold. Okay, it says uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay, so when the, the, the name... I mean, when, when the men of the Lord go through hell, there's the, the Israelites, not Ishmaelites, the Israelites, okay, get uh, trial and tribulation. They're going to call upon the name of the Lord during that time. And that's when they're going to get, get saved through that because the Lord is going to protect them, okay? Uh, he's going to deliver them, okay? Now I'm going to get into this word rock, okay? Okay, um, we're right here. It says crag, uh, cliff, rock, uh, a stronghold of Jehovah, which is Jehovah is an, a watered down English form of uh, Yahweh, okay, of security, okay. Um, continuing on, Pro Psalms. 19 and 14 let the words of my mouth and my meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight oh yahweh my strength and my redeemer okay now it says my strength and my redeemer okay now under the word strength okay <clears throat> which strength is uh taza war okay and my name is uh taza war yeah okay my hebrew name which means uh, my rock or my strength, okay? And uh, the word uh, ties of war, okay? Um, it says rock, cliff, rocky wall, cliff, rock, block of stone, boulder, rock, rock of God, rock of heathen gods. <laughs> That's 
you know, these heathens, okay? Then right here, um, oh, the point was that, um, the, the Lord is, 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 is our strength, okay? That's going to get us through these times, okay? Rock, strength, sharp, God, beauty, edge, stones, mighty one, strong, okay? And the Lord is going, going to rise up against our enemies, okay? And, and destroy them. That's why we got to wait on the Lord, because that's our strength, okay? So uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 2 and 27. Saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. And that's madness, man, because these Muslims think that a stone brought them forth. For they have turned their, their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of, of, of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us. Okay, because a lot of these people, you know, they, they think that they actually serve in the Lord. But they're not. They're doing it the wrong way. Okay, and when it when it's time for for the Lord to to he start killing people, they're gonna start saying, "Hey, Allah, you know, save me." But he's gonna say, "But where are the God? Where are your gods that thou has made you? Let them arise if that if they can save you in the time of trouble. For according to the number of the cities of your cities are your gods, O Judah. Okay, because because you so called Negroes." Y'all have the most gods out of everybody, man. Okay? Y'all have the y'all have the most gods out of everybody on this planet. Y'all are into the most craziest uh stuff, man. Okay? Jeremiah 2 and 11. Has has a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. And that's what these Muslims are doing. Okay? So it says, "Unto the according to the number of your cities, are your gods." And it, you know, our people had a lot of cities back then, and they had a lot of gods other than the Most High God Yahweh. Okay, so so those gods that they have, when it's time when the Lord starts killing people, we're going to see who who gets saved. Okay, and you're going to see a lot of you people that like to confuse us with uh, Muslims. And don't want to um, understand. Y'all going to get destroyed too. And y'all going to see that the Israelites are the ones who, who are really the men of the Lord. Ezekiel 20 and 32. And that which comes into your mind shall not be at all. That you say we will be as the heathen. As the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. And that's what, what, what happened. Our people have followed the ways of the heathen. Getting all into their customs and, you know, their ways. But when it comes down to the, to our own, they don't know it. Okay? As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather, gather you out of the countries wherein you are scattered. And wherever these people are scattered... That's, they, that's the gods that they're going to be following. And these other nations, these heathens, okay, they put them in a heathen state of mind and they force them, okay, in these other countries, they force them, if you're, if you're not down with, with Allah or whatever God is in that, that region, they put you to death or they torture you, okay? So, um, Lord willing, this was edifying. Like I said, no, we are not no uh, Muslims, man, okay? Salawam.